Yo, Vaisant here. So apparently they pushed back the 2.1 special program preview. And it's like three hours later than what I expected. I mean, it's still going. So I'm just going to react from the beginning here because that's what it is. All right, let's click here. Um, so the beginning. Hello. Hello and welcome to the Genshin Impact version 2.1 special in. program. I'm your host, Zach Aguilar, the voice of Ether. And today I'm joined by my long lost sibling and co host. Hi, everyone. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, and you all know me as the voice of Lumine in Genshin Impact. Good right. to see you, Twinsy. <laughs> hey, right back at you. <laughs> all right, everyone. Okay, today okay. we have a particularly special program as Genshin Impact will soon be rolling into its one-year anniversary celebration. Yay! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's already been one whole year already. Oh, I know, right? Damn, flying anniversary. crazy fast. I know. We've already had so many amazing adventures with everyone. Definitely, and thank you so much to all our travelers out there for your support. It's been such an amazing year together, and uh -huh. it's safe to say that with the coming version, Genshin Impact will not only be providing more great in-game content, but also some exciting events outside the game. That's right. Outside really the game. excited to celebrate already. I know. Hey, so look, there's only. Everyone can feel the there's only coming back. Hype and the appreciation and that the Genshin Impact team has for all our travelers. And speaking of one year of adventures, joining us today are some talented voices that players have been hearing from the very onset of their adventures. Please welcome. Dun, da, da, da. Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Jean. Sutherland, voice of Jean, the acting grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius. What's up everybody, I'm Josie Montana McCoy, the voice of Kaya, cavalry captain of the Knights of Favonius. Hmm. Hellrider Amber, reporting in. Hey everybody, I'm Kelly Baskin, the voice of Amber. And finally we have... Hi everyone, I'm Laura Stahl, the voice behind Mondstadt's Deaconess idol, Barbara. Let's do our best today. <laughs> all right, got their I fancy believe mics. that's everyone. Yay! Oh, almost all We've got a full house today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do. So we'll all be teaming up to host this special program together. This is great. So many people. I know. This is so amazing. <laughs> We've got a big group today. Hopefully things don't get too crazy. Mm, I'll be watching all of you. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to delay there? <laughs> got it. Got it. Anyway, we'll be counting on you to show mm. us the rope, Zach. You'll be our special program senpai for the day. Yeah, seriously. Mm. Like, how many of these have you done already, Zach? A lot, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, like a few, but uh, don't worry. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, got we all know you do, Zach. I like the last Every one that we had before. Every program so far has been just a little bit different. Just resubs, so I'm pretty you know? sure that there's going to be some special twists this time around, too, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, for sure. In fact, the special program bail, writers though. have come up with a couple little mini games for all the voice artists to interact together. So Whoa. be sure to stay tuned for that. <laughs> yeah. You're kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. All right, then. With no further ado, let's have a first look at the official trailer for Genshin Impact version 2.1. Floating world under the moonlight. Ooh. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, boy. Our trailer time. Repeat after me. Three, two, one. One, two, three. <sighs> Not a waifu in the. I remember someone posting it on Twitter, you know, but I forgot. The earliest shrine on Wakatsumi Island was not located in Sangonomiya, but after she struck down our protector deity, the shrine was abandoned. The new shrine. This is a new area, so right? Soldiers started showing symptoms of accelerated aging. Damn, accelerated aging. If that's the case, then the peace talks are likely a trap. Oh look, it's the hydro hypostasis. The way and we have a uh, instead of ocean, it is the thunder, electric. So I don't even know. Thunders? Thunder? Oh damn. Okay. Story spoilers. Oh, now we fight her now? Oh, okay. <laughs> Not even ashes will remain. Why is it? Let's all the all weird. 
38. I will do everything within my power to defend my family's honor. Is it ready at HD? Oh, Electro Archer. Colluding with the Fatui is a low enough for you already. You just want to take everything away from us. Oh, there's a water mage too. You must prepare for hardship. All the new characters in this one. A G Archer coming, please. Ambitions have the power to heal wounds to bring victory. How's he get to that? Curiosity. Oh, what the heck? What is the reason that I find you standing here before me once again? It's gonna be a boss. Shine down. Oh, you can use her. There you go. Now you shall perish. Damn, did she like open a rift in the? Whoa, did, did the MC just accelerate? Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? A's. That's it. Just like that. Eternity stretches things out over a long time. Oh, but it's each moment within it becomes all the more fragile. Oh damn. <laughs> did I get poisoned? <laughs> Oh, there's a bunch of uh, new bosses, I'm guessing. You know, this is starting to feel like chili pepper weather. Did you happen to see how the city looked on the way over here? Everyone's getting ready for the Moon Chase Festival. I'm taking part moon in this chase. year's masterful chefs. If possible, I'd like you to be my culinary consultant. Okay, there new events. There is a dish that perhaps you could try making for me. We have two extraordinary talents this year. I'm mm -hmm. interested to see their choice of dishes. Is Longley okay. gonna be here? Because I see him in the back. Let the cooking commence. The thumbnail. Begin. Oh, redemption code. Nice, nice. I'll do that later. Should I post it in the Discord right now? Hmm. Never mind. Someone already posted <laughs> my Discord. All right, all right, cool, cool. I can skip around now, right? This is uh, old stuff. Oh my God, it's a long time just showing this. Oh my God. Adventure celebrating another one of Liyue's traditional festivals, the Moon Chase Festival. So that has so many festivals. Mm. Well, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> the Moon Chase Festival is an event with lots of meaning to the people of Liyue. It's oh, a it Liyue event? All the locals gather together and do what they do best. Enjoy a variety of local foods. Mm. I love food. <laughs> Whenever anyone mentions food and Liyue, I'm a foodie you know too. Comes to mind? Try something new at the Wanmin restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I guess Wait, you voice that, that comes to mind too. <laughs> well, what I was going to say is you can't help but think of Leo's resident chef, Zhang Ling. Oh, right, Zhang Ling. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, I still mm -hmm. like that impression, though, Zach. That was pretty yeah, good. good job. <laughs> well done. Oh, the impression. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thanks, sure. Zach. Same. So, in addition to lots of tasty food, the Moon Chase Festival also has a rich background of traditional culture and customs. Mm -hmm. uh, it's said that in ancient times, the Moon Chase Festival was once associated with adepti that were pursuing the adeptal path. Oh. That's right, but such folk legends okay. are hard to verify now. The present meaning of the Moon Chase Festival primarily lies now in celebrating the arrival of fall by moonlight. I want to know more about this. Activities in the Not story-wise, but like... People will visit friends and relatives and... Are oh, we just going to be just cooking food the whole event? Oh, uh, no. So, in other it. words, it's another chance for everyone to gather around the table and enjoy a big meal together, right? Yeah! yeah. I mean, I like food, and like <laughs> any festival, the whole city joins in on the celebration. Travelers will notice some changes in Liyue Harbor throughout the course of the festival, with the entire city decked out in festive okay. decor. Oh, it's so pretty! Wow. Oh, I want that's to go to there! Yeah, that's where you should summon. During the Moon Chase Festival, merchants will also set up their stalls and cover the alleys in advertisements to attract customers. Nice! I'm sure we'll find some interesting things for sale. 
if the Moon Chase <laughs> Festival is the main event for version 2.1, what can players yeah. expect oh, story-wise? Sure. Are we going to get a new event storyline? Say yes, please. You bet we are. Do they plan that? Travelers will find like themselves it. partnering up with Kuching and Xiang Ling to travel around Liyue in search of the true origins of the Moon Chase Festival. Four stars, a question mark? Some cooking and trying out new recipes along the way. <gasps> okay. Oh, Yay! Oh, <laughs> And what good would food be without friends? Mm. Travelers will be meeting up with a whole host of good friends from Leo. So I'm sure we'll be seeing plenty of familiar faces when throughout have the events, story. Like right. just specifically it's always for fun to see characters making an appearance for the events. Mm -hmm, definitely. Okay. Yay. <laughs> okay, so besides the Moon Chase event storyline, what else can travelers expect yeah. to see? I mean, we did have some. Incredible. Like, we had to, like, That's team up with randos. That's a good huh? question. And I got you covered. Yeah, you but do. with friends, not yeah, randos. <laughs> <laughs> in addition to the event storyline, there will be two types of event gameplay. The first is called Moonlight Seeker. Oh no, it's a hide and seek thing, please. Okay. During oh, no. the event period, the Adventurer's Guild will be scattering things ah. called Moon Chase Charms and Mist Moon Chests all around the areas of Liyue, Hopefully it's random. and Dragonspine. Oh, okay, cool. Dragonspine. Travelers can speak with the event organizer to gain some clues, which will help you locate the items faster. Okay, wait a second! That sounds like a big treasure hunt. I love treasure hunt. I love treasure hunts. I'm so cool. That's <laughs> right. Just cabbage. So, <laughs> Miss Moon Chest will drop awards oh, as soon as primos. they are opened, okay. and travelers can collect certain amounts of Moon Chase charms to receive even more rewards. Ooh, I love new rewards. treasure chest to <laughs> okay, open. Okay, okay. Always fun. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> treasure chest and hunting. as Zhang Li himself said, us travelers have a treasure finding talent surpassed. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah? Okay, okay. Nice okay. try, Sarah, but I think Zhongli sounds a little more like this. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share that memory? Okay. Okay. Kind of pretty tricky. Exactly. Way better. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's good, but seriously, you two, getting back to the event. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yes. I should also mention that the rewards for Moonlight Seeker include a brand new four star. Oh, there you go. They're going to release. Luxurious Sea Lord. Question mark. <laughs> oh my god, the giant fish. <laughs> Is this real? Trout. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's insane. Oh my, oh my gosh. Catch an impact oh with the god. internet. Anyway. I'm sorry. Woo. I am a professional. I kind of anyway. want to skip around. <laughs> okay. <Good thing. laughs> Just want to know, like, the information, oh right? Please. Second part? Okay, here we go. That sounds like my kind of event. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Travelers will be tasked yeah. with locating camps of monsters across different yeah, areas like this and one challenging more. a variety of enemies. Oh. Each camp will have leaders that have been affected by some special buffs or effects. Uh -huh. Additionally, players will be able to submit dishes as offerings to receive corresponding buff effects, which in turn will then help travelers complete challenges. Okay. That sounds yummy. What if you don't Food want to play hard mode? There is nothing wrong with that. Not <laughs> at all. You are but you get prizes yep, for it. I guess it's time to put those cooking skills to good use, travelers. <laughs> Can you go off this? And that's not more all, fun? because to celebrate the one-year anniversary of Genshin Three Impact, pulls? Travelers will be able to participate in the new Passage of Clouds and Stars login event. Oh. Login. Simply accumulate daily logins throughout the event period to claim up to 10 intertwined fate along with various other rewards. That sounds wow. nice. nice. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. And there's one more important note. Only 10? Every traveler on all end. servers will have their double crystal bonus reset, which means everyone will be able to enjoy a double amount of crystals for a purchase again. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so oh, nice. There is so just... Exciting. Oh, it's <laughs> the whale. Yeah. That's the... Wow. While the okay, whale event. chase is underway back in Liyue, mm -hmm. things will also continue unfolding in the tumultuous nation of Inazuma. Uh -oh. In yeah. version 2.1, travelers will pick up right where the 2.0 story left off and continue on their adventure through the main storyline. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yay! Oh, the story from 2.0 was so yeah. jam-packed. <laughs> I mean, so many important things were happening. Like, 
I don't know about you guys, but I bet everyone's already dying to know what happens. I yeah. am. I want did to I, did I even catch up? I don't know. I feel like I still have some quests left over. For anyone that hasn't cleared the storyline from 2.0 yet, spoiler alert. Oh no, avert your eyes! <laughs> I think I did. It did. It's time to give me more of my main right. quests. But... Take it away, Stephanie. All right. So, in the last chapter, the Traveler joined the ranks of the Resistance forces fighting against the Shogunate. However, yeah. we still don't know what challenges lay ahead for the Resistance and the Traveler. Okay, so I did catch up. Does okay. the Traveler actually stand a chance of shaking the Raiden Shogun's persistent and unwavering pursuit of eternity? Oh, oh this storyline is really building up. Yeah. I am like super excited. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. So, for all our travelers who are anxiously waiting to see what will happen next, mm -hmm. the story will continue unfolding in the final chapter of the Inazuma Archon Quest, arriving in version 2.1, Omnipresence over Mortals. Whoa. Oh, okay. From the title, it seems like the story will still be revolving heavily around the Raiden Shogun. Yeah, Coming definitely. soon. What nice. lengths will the traveler go to in order to turn the situation in Inazuma and alter the imposing Sorry, the will in of the, way. the almighty Shogun? All the answers will be revealed in the coming Archon Quest. Uh, Archon Quest. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Wait. Zach. Well, is, is that it? You can't tell us anything else? What else is going to happen? What's going to happen? Well, <laughs> we've got to be careful when it comes to story content. You know, like, we don't want to ruin it for anybody. <laughs> but I do right, right. <laughs> Okay, well, just as a sneak peek, we do have some screenshots from the 2.1 storyline to share with everyone. So Screenshots? Let's okay. Let's have a look. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yay! Yay! Okay. The Raiden Shogun created Musojin Gorge in one flash? Wow, that's pretty incredible. And we have yes, some voiceover. The Archon War was brutal. <laughs> and Yashiori Island was completely destroyed during that battle. They, oh, this is a dragon. Uh, lost something very dear to her along the way, too. Or, or beast Ooh. skull. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm, if I'm it's remembering just some screenshots, right? There's a one. The Gorge was the result of Raiden Shogun's blade, right? But what did she mean when she said the Shogun lost something very dear to her along the way? Hmm? Right. Well, hopefully no. travelers have paid Waifu. attention throughout their travels and picked up on what has taken place in Inazuma up till now. <gasps> Clues and hints. I'm pretty sure everyone has their own guesses about what she may have lost, but all hmm. I can say is her that power? the gradual process of losing things and facing changes over the years have had a big influence on the Shogun. Wait, I can I can see that. I maybe see that. this was the catalyst behind the Shogun's decision for the Vision Hunt decree and the Sakoku decree. What do you think? Do you think oh, the things I think? Yeah, yeah. Right? I think you might be right. <laughs> but you know, I can't help but wonder if the Raiden Shogun is really the cold-hearted character we saw in version 2.0. Mm. There seems to be a lot of questions surrounding her. Right. There's mm. definitely a fair amount of mystery surrounding her. Or her. Her. Mysterious yeah. indeed, but the good news is that we'll all have the chance to learn a lot more in the coming version updates. Better. On to our next screenshot. Onward! Oh, okay, there is more screenshots. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Such. Barely two words in, and you already look like you want me dead. You're getting all worked up over nothing. <laughs> nothing. You changed. <laughs> nothing. You're getting weak. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. <laughs> That's painful. Okay. Scaramouche, painful here, aka the Balladeer, finally makes another appearance. <laughs> it seems you can never predict when that guy is gonna show up. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no I believe you didn't you Kung Lao, right? was in the Unreconciled Stars event back in version 1.1. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's so long ago. The one whole version. Yeah. You know, I also noticed that the Senora was in the trailer earlier as well. Right, uh oh. Right. Seems there's always some trouble wherever those two oh. show up. It can't be a coincidence that both of these Fatui Harbingers are making an appearance in Inazuma at the same Connection. time. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. a really good point. Oh, yeah. yes, Ooh. the Balladeer. Seems like he'll be playing an even bigger role this time. Well, he is oh, the boy. number six of the Fatui Harbingers. Any encounter with him is number six. pretty epic, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, the Traveler was yeah. looking epic pretty right. serious <laughs> when they were confronting Scaramouche, and all he said was that they were getting worked up over nothing. I wonder what this is doing. And we're getting weak. Oh, <laughs> I bet 
they stole his fish. <laughs> oh, for sure. I mean, the fish. maybe. Sorry. <laughs> Gotta be. I think players will have to play the story okay, okay. and find the answer for themselves. Uh, I knew it. No spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. Are you moving on? Well, before we move on, there's one more yeah. thing okay, I'd like to more. mention about the Balladeer here. When travelers successfully complete the new storyline, they'll discover the true origins of Scaramouche. I do. Oh, oh origin, origin story. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. I need it right now. Yeah, me too. I mean, I've always been wondering where he actually came from. Right? right. I right. knew you guys would be interested. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. you know us well. On to our final screenshot. <laughs> Indulge my curiosity. Right. With the Shogun. I thought the guys think he's going to find you standing here before me once again. Do you hope your foolhardiness will shelter those people? Or was it simply a means of seeking an audience with me? Audience, so be it. Audience. Well then, you who would defy eternity, time for you to enlighten me. As long as you don't lock my skills, oh, I should be fine. Oh, right. so yeah. like you get an anti-lock. Confront the shogun. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I think the situation here is a lot different from the first time they met. But <laughs> the real question yeah. is, what will it take to convince the shogun to have a change of heart? Just pull All of this comes to light. Just needs the primo gems. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> this is quite the fateful moment, mm. huh? Sounds like it. Let's hope you haven't forgotten your Knights of Pavonius training. <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh, that would not be good. Um, and... No, it would not. <laughs> nope. Once yeah. again, okay, okay. everyone will need to play through the story themselves to discover what happens. Oh, oh yeah, okay. yeah. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> I think that's it for version 2.1 storyline. But next, let's take a look at some of the new characters coming our way. There we go. Yes! yes. 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 Oh. <laughs> this is my favorite part. <laughs> yes. Yay! Yeah. There you go. The shogun's here. Spear. Her poor. Look, he's kind of ripped. Or like a some kind of eye thing. Yeah, she she like look at that riff. Disappear. I command the thunder in all corners of the world to cease. Rest well tonight. Do <laughs> starting off with. Incredible. All right. Yeah. So Bale. I know that many of you have been waiting to see the right. Wait, her name is Radiant Shogun. Character in the game. So mm -hmm. first, let's start things off with a quick preview of the Shogun's abilities. All right. All right. <laughs> Lead us in, Zach. Let's do it. Okay. The Raiden Shogun possesses an Electronosis and wields a pole arm in combat. Ah, another oh. Archon that wields a pole arm. Yes. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Her elemental skill. Transcendence, Baleful Omen, deals electro damage to nearby enemies and will grant each nearby party member an Eye of Stormy Judgment effect. Judgment. Okay, oh, that's cool. a pretty intense name, but hopefully it'll be good for the entire team. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> okay, so what effects will this grant our characters exactly? <clears throat> the Eye of Stormy <laughs> Judgment will perform coordinated <laughs> attacks alongside the active okay. character dealing so AOE electro damage as well as so increasing kind of, of um, character's Xingqiu, elemental but... burst damage. Whoa. Right. That is interesting. Right. Right. Pretty good. <laughs> when the Raiden Shogun uses her elemental burst, secret art, Muso Shinsetsu, she unleashes the Muso no Hitotachi, causing her to draw her sword and perform attacks with her Tachi for a certain duration. Just bo -bo 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 -bo. This is called the Muso Ishin state. Nice. Whoa. So she's switching weapons during her burst. She's using a sword, right? Exactly. <laughs> While using the Muso no Hitotachi, all the Shogun's normal, charged, and plunging attacks will be converted to electro damage that cannot yeah. be overridden by any other elemental infusion. Just become lightning. Well, okay, so it sounds I'm like electro. the Muso no Hitotachi is really as scary as the stories have made it out to be. <laughs> I am frightened, <laughs> but we'll be okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> so you want to run Thundering Fury, I believe? When the Shogun's attacks hit an opponent, 
She will recharge energy for all of her teammates, and she mm. will be immune to electro-charged effects while also having increased resistance to, inter to interruption. Finally, the Raiden Shogun's normal charged and plunging attack damage will be considered elemental burst damage. Ooh, burst damage? Oh, in. damn, you want Renovalus, too. Oh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> After unlocking the passive talent in Light Increase Lunch, electro damage and then Shogun's Nobilis. energy recharge surpasses 100%, she'll receive greater energy restoration from Muso Ishin, as well as increase its electro damage bonus. <laughs> wow. Oh, so she can yeah, even restore may. energy for her teammates. That's useful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. for sure. I'm really Damn, looking forward to it myself. T team B it's DPS. so cool how she wields her blade. And yeah. all right, yeah. let's take a look at our next new playable character. Mm, you. Yay! 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 Yes, yes. The water mage. More attack based than Zedamona, right? Summon a water field. Like the whole place is just water now. Maybe. Yeah. Good morning. I've just read a fascinating stratagem. Would you like to study it together? This is a strategist. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Wow. I love it. It amazing. Wow. <laughs> What? Here that wasn't that amazing as Veo. What? Kokomi. As you can already see, she is a very nimble and graceful character. I already know that. Like a mermaid, she right? She looks really <laughs> elegant, but also really cool at the same time. Yeah, kind of okay. like, yeah, like kind of like a mermaid princess that emerged from the okay. deep in some fairy tale. That is the perfect oh my gosh, yes! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank Absolutely. you. And Kokomi moves in combat with so much agility. So and much grace. She manages to maintain that elegant appearance no matter what is going on. <laughs> All right, tutorial when. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I could do that. I'm so jealous, so jealous. <laughs> All right, okay. so Kokomi has a hydro vision and wields a catalyst in combat. Right, Let's right. Let's dive in and take a look at her abilities. Oh, uh, wow. Zag, Zag. 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 That caused me physical pain. Thank you for that. I, that. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, it was amazing. Mental Good game. opportunity. When she uses her elemental ability called Karage's Oath, she summons a jellyfish-like illusion called a uh, Karage. Wait, is this thing Mona? This illusion will remain on the battlefield and continuously restore HP for the active character. Oh, it's a while healer. attacking nearby enemies, dealing hydro damage. So okay, okay so like Mona and Barbara combined? Marriott's Ascension deals hydro AoE damage to nearby enemies and causes her to don her ceremonial garment, which increases the damage dealt by her normal and charged attack, as well as her Bake Kurage. The ceremonial garment looks so pretty. It looks right? so yeah. floaty. Yeah. No, yeah, oh my god, floaty, nice. yes. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. so pretty. Look at these new and monsters. Finally, did you not see the new monsters? Of Watatsumi reduces the stamina consumption for teammates when What's these, these uh, <gasps> animal things? She's a princess. She's, she's a totally She's a princess. She's oh, yeah. 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 I don't know. I the her. more I look at her, the more I think she's a mermaid. Yes. Uh, I'm pretty yeah. sure Zach's still gonna drown. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. No Wait, can't she drown? Okay. <laughs> but you should definitely note that Kokomi has a special trait. Her base crit rate is negative 100%, which means she oh. doesn't benefit from crit rate or crit damage. Huh. However, wow. she does enjoy an increased healing bonus. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So nice. you lose something, but you also gain something. So she's yeah, like made to be a healer. Uh, it seems like players are going to have a good time jumping in and figuring out the intricacies of this character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's For definitely sure. a lot of cool things going on. Yeah. 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 I'm super yeah. excited. <laughs> um, last but not least, hmm. we have one more new character to introduce. Yay! Is it the fire? Yeah! 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 No G Archer right now. But we oh, it is the Electro Archer, right? Yeah. I guess maybe Q Archer will be next, uh, next patch. Is she gonna be a four star maybe, or what? Five, another five star? To manifest eternity per the almighty Shogun's will. That is what I aspire to. 
It would make sense if she was in the same banner as Bayo, though. Our third new character for version 2.1 will be Kujo Sara. Oh, oh right. Kujo Sara. She's the rival general to Kokomi. Neat. Yeah, so Kujo Sara is a bow wielder with an electro vision, and her elemental ability, Tengu Storm Call, allows her to backdash and gain <laughs> crow feather cover. Don't be mm. shy, Zach. Tell us more. <laughs> <laughs> will do. When Kujo Sara charges her bow, she consumes crow feather cover. Oh, charge. The arrow fired will leave a crow feather behind that will trigger Tengu Jurai Ambush, which deals AoE electro damage and also increases the attack of okay. nearby characters. Oh, I Andy. love that. Sounds like a mini, uh, mini Bennett. Seriously specialized archer mechanics. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So after unlocking the talent Decora, Wait, but then the buff Jirai isn't being near the enemy though, right? Opponents, Kujo Sara will restore energy to all party members based on her current amount of energy recharge. Current, oh, huh? cool. I'd like to be her friend. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I like friends. It's just a good thing. <laughs> when Kujo Sara uses her elemental burst, Subjugation, Coco Sendo, she will strike a target area with Tengu Jurai Titan Breaker, dealing AoE electro open damage wings. and leaving a number of Tengu Jurai Storm Cluster, which then spread out, dealing more instances of AoE electro damage. Oh. These Tengu Jurai will also like provide an attack bonus. Electro oh. stuff? Yeah, Kujo Sara fits really nicely into the support role. Yeah. Oh, also doing damage, totally. right? And by the way, Kujo Sara's idol animation I don't already play and those, elemental burst yeah. show her black crow feathers. Yeah, energy, there you go. Which definitely wins some style points, I think. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, even with all the characters we have already, these three all really have unique styles and combat abilities. Sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. it looks like yeah. yeah. Cool. Along with the release of these new characters, the new version will also new weapons, be adding yeah. the Imperatrix Umbrosa story quest for the oh, Riding no, Shogun, as well as story the quest. Dracina Somnolenta story quest for Sangana Mia Kokomi. Ooh, more story quests! Yes. I know! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> these are always such a great opportunity for travelers to get a more in-depth view at new characters and their stories. Okay, so the, like, the big question is, the, when are all these new characters going to be available to the players? That's a really Wait, when is pass dropping? Well, the Raiden Shogun and Kujo Sara will be appearing in the first Ah, okay, so there you go. It makes sense. Sango no Miya Kokomi will be appearing in the new version's second event wish. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I love them. Very nice. <laughs> and lastly, we'll be releasing we two new five-star weapons in the version update. Engulfing Lightning, as well as Everlasting Moonglow. For we'll corresponding on those weapons characters. Soon, so yeah, yeah. please be sure to keep an eye out for the official announcement. Yeah, yeah sounds Yay! good. <laughs> okay, so besides those exciting new characters coming our way, version 2.1 still has some huge content for us to reveal. It's hard right. to imagine what could be even more exciting than new characters. Ooh, right, well, right. how about some completely new areas to explore? The two new <laughs> islands. So there are yeah, four <laughs> areas to explore cool. already. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, I'm still exploring Inazuma. Uh, <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> we already received lots yeah, of taking my time with the that. release of Inazuma and version 2.1. We'll be building on that with two more new areas for go. travelers to explore. Damn, okay. yeah, that's an interesting, like, <laughs> coral like, or seashell the island. The first area is that one's just a deadly on the right. <laughs> home to the resistance forces. This area is located at a considerable distance from the other islands of Inazuma. Coco Me Pop, so for sure, designs this. Peculiar landscapes and unique culture that somewhat differs from that on Narukami Island. So it sounds like we need a boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably. <laughs> so, a key point of interest on Watatsumi Island is the Sanganomiya Shrine, which lies surrounded by mountains and misty waterfalls. Just mm. woke up. <clears throat> The shrine serves as headquarters for the resistance forces and exudes a dreamy aura. Totally. I mean, you really weren't kidding about how unique this place is. The scenery here is so different. It almost looks like a completely different world. Yeah. There's a mist around the area, too. <laughs> it's almost like another fantasy world within to that. I know! Yeah. <laughs> I see so the, the, the statue. The people of Watatsumi Island believe in the Great Serpent, which is their god. Yeah, it, even the Tori gates are different, and the colors of the locals' garb look really unique. You know, I'm yeah. loving the attention to detail here. Me too. Oh, okay, so okay. Good. All right, oh, the now water funnel, uh. the second new area coming in 2.1, Seirai Island. Oh. Hopefully, everyone Ooh. was able to catch uh -huh. a glimpse of Seirai Island. Damn, this one's like crazy. Look at this. Special program. Oh, 
Wait, really? <laughs> you guys need to pay attention. Come on. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> anyway, Seirai Island is constantly enveloped by violent storms. The place has a strange, gloomy atmosphere, so people seldom ever set foot on the island. Oh, I'm so creepy. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> the island's ramshackle villages, withering trees, and abandoned shrines all seem to tell the sad history of this area. I'm honestly trying to figure out why anybody would want to go there. <laughs> spring, just bring a shield. Even in a place like this, there are all kinds of interesting things waiting to be explored. For example, like these we extra have a shrines? talking black cat that is the provisional head priestess of the Asase Shrine. Did she turn? Wait. Did she, did she turn into a cat? Like by a curse? Not only does a boss Shiba Inu, it yeah. also has a kitty priestess. Yes. You guys yeah. know how I like those cats. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> like that kitty talk. That we, you, we cannot oh. gloss over the fact it's a kitty talk. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna lie, this place does look pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm sure yeah. travelers will find plenty to explore there. Mm -hmm. Oh, so totally. much. And yeah. with all these new characters and new areas to explore, what would a new version be without some new enemies to battle? Uh, there we go. <laughs> like that a new animal <laughs> jellyfish that I saw earlier? New monsters that await us in version 2.1. Yeah. <laughs> oh, another trailer, huh? Yeah, this uh, Electronid or Thundernid, I don't know what they're called. And then the water, the Hydro Hypostasis. Like became <laughs> interesting, flexible like water. Oh boy, it's like a waterfall coming in. Oh god! Now of course. Oh, she um, she's cryo. She's turned in dark mode, which is what fire. Damn, she looks insane. Yep, from from cryo to uh, pyro. with the senora herself you guys i bet a lot of travelers have been waiting for the chance to challenge her no they want to pull her yeah. <laughs> that's right in fact senora will become available as a weekly boss oh. i figured i figured okay so even though she's our enemy and i've always wanted to kick her butt yeah. i can't help but notice how cool her fighting style is and also how yeah. awesome the music sounds that's true <laughs> Yeah, I think she'll be a fun one to add to our list of bosses to challenge every week. I think so. Hey, yeah. don't yeah. you remember what she did to Venti? <laughs> Can we skip around here? Oh, yeah. Pyro forms during combat, yeah, but the environment go. around her will constantly be shifting as well. Oof. Man, that's nothing that we can't handle. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, I know, I know. I'm just saying the players might find themselves in for some surprises. <laughs> yeah, uh, dying to new bosses is my specialty. Zach, give yourself credit. He's only man. <laughs> anyway, I think it's time for us to drop okay. our second redemption code. <gasps> it's coming in version 2.1, but there are still a couple more things to reveal. Oh, like what? Know. Like the minor uh, feature. Being fed, everyone. Increases. Already. <laughs> I know. Well, travelers will be seeing a new gameplay mechanic landing in the new version. Gameplay. Guess anyone? It has to do with water. Uh, oh, 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 oh let me guess. Okay. Scuba diving with Kokomi. Oh, I like that. Ooh, That'd be fun. Right? Be cool. Actually, a whole new world. Pretty cool. Yeah, a whole new world. No. In the water. <laughs> Crushing dreams. In 
<laughs> in version 2.1, Genshin fishing? Impact will oh, be getting God. an all new fishing <laughs> system. Is that how you get the fish sword? <laughs> Travelers will be able to cast their lines for fishing in designated areas of water. Oh, look yeah. at that. Doesn't even anywhere. Oh Great. my goodness, please tell me more about this right now. <laughs> yes. Laura. <laughs> I did. Uh, okay, the first step to catching any fish is preparing some bait. Okay. Depending on the area, travelers will be able to use different kinds of bait to catch different kinds of fish. Okay, Once I have a lot of those. Once you where to fish and have prepared your bait, you can begin fishing. Oh Yay. my gosh. This is way more detailed than I thought it would be, and I am all about yeah. it. <laughs> so ready. I know. <laughs> I know. Can you just go in and okay, pick them up? So next, you have to cast your line. It's important to choose a place to cast your line that won't scare the fish away. Oh. Once you get a bite, you have to time your reaction and control the tension of your line to reel in the fish. I need to take oh. notes. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> there, no, bad. Where is it? There sounds like there's actually quite a bit to it, and... It, I can't believe we're actually talking about fishing right <laughs> I'm now. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. Yep. And there will be many types of fish to be caught, so travelers can try their best to catch every kind. Fishing game. Fish are not only used to produce a cooking ingredient, but can also be exchanged for rewards. Oh. We can even visit now? the fishing the association, association in different areas <laughs> to exchange for new fishing rods that have different effects to help us catch more oh, fish. Oh, that sounds yes. so official. I just love that there's okay. so many <laughs> Yes. Oh, we're gonna die. Okay. I mean, I still think that scuba diving with Kokomi would have been amazing. That would have like... been better. <laughs> no cat. Well, hey, listen. I've heard that there are special fish that we world. can catch called ornamental fish. Is that Ooh. is that true? Ooh. All for the teapot. You are correct. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> ornamental fish are a type of particularly energetic fish that travelers can catch and then raise themselves. Oh, oh raise Wait. themselves. Hold on. Yeah, we're, we're gonna need like a fish bowl or something to keep them in, right? Oh, how about the Serena teapot? That's we can keep them there. Yes, that's a really good yeah. You nailed yeah. it, Kelly. In version 2.1, the Serena teapot will be adding a special furnishing called the Pool of Sapphire Grace. Ooh, Any ornamental yeah. fish that players catch can be raised in this special pool. That's so yeah. fun. I gotta use the teapot now. It is so, so crazy how many functions the Serena teapot is getting. I know. <laughs> I know. Like, so many. Oh, and to Come celebrate on. the addition of the fishing system, there will also be a special event in the new version. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Once travelers think they've got their fishing skills down, they oh. can participate in the Lunar Realm event. I love Moonstringer. I'm serious fish for you. invitation from Inazuma's very own fishing expert, Kujirai Momiji. Ugh. After some special training, everyone will have the opportunity to seek out the legendary fish, Lunar Leviathan. Oh. oh. The Lunar Leviathan? <laughs> I'm not too sure I like the sound of that. It kind of sounds like an ancient sea monster. They have a lot of different <laughs> modes in here. Damn. You might be surprised, Kelly. Oh, a new According game mode to add in here legends, next. And yes, there are fishing legends. Of course there are. Don't ask. <laughs> um, the Lunar Le Leviathan, it has the magical power to fulfill someone's wishes. Okay, yep, yep. Ooh. I'm getting real curious about what okay, this okay. fishy baby looks like. And if I can love it and keep fishy it forever, baby. please. please. <laughs> can I keep it? Will we be actually able to see the Lunar Leviathan in all of its glory? <laughs> I think you know the answer, Laura. I know. Players will have to play the game to find him. That's well, right. I want to know now. <laughs> all right, on to the next event. Oh, this next one event. This should pique your interest. Rumors have it that there's a free-for-all fighting points. tournament being Ooh, held in an unknown I'm guild hall in this. Inazuma City. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. This came out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> From fishing to okay, fighting. Okay, this... Free for all fighting tournament is known as Yakunin Iki. Oh. During this challenge, travelers can either use the trial characters provided or nah. their own characters nah. to form six own. tag teams of two characters and give each tag, tag team, team an event exclusive ability. Oh, so a real test of team combination. I love it. <laughs> exactly. But be careful. If one of your teams goes over the time limit, it will cause your combat abilities to drop. Oh, Damn, no. you get tired. However, <laughs> we can use the relay ability to switch to another team to continue combat. Oh. Fervor is accumulated by switching teams or defeating enemies. Once you have reached a certain amount of fervor, bonuses okay. will be unlocked for your character's combat abilities. Oh. 
That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm enjoying. Okay, I'm so excited about this. Basically, like a relay competition. Right. I mean, that yeah. sounds pretty sweet. What yeah. else we got? Yeah, yeah. give us more, okay. please. So, <laughs> finally, in addition to How all the switch, events though? we've mentioned already, the new version will also feature the Spectral Secrets Expedition event. Ooh. In this event, travelers will need to send out expeditions based on information oh, this thing again? posts regarding specter sightings. Specters are a type of extremely rare elemental creature, no? That's right. Travelers won't need to dispatch expeditions oh, based those on things. recommended elements from the Adventurer's Guild for maximum efficiency. Once you have completed a series of expeditions, you will be able to claim the corresponding rewards. I like rewards. Sounds like the perfect Sweet. job for Primos. Amber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so aside okay. from all these amazing events, the Serena Teapot system will also be getting some adjustments too. Ooh. Nice. There's a lot of changes. Yeah. Starting Enjoy. in version 2.1, when we put multiple of certain furnishings in our realm, the second and any more duplicates will have a reduction to the total load amount. Oh, okay, great. Okay, so okay. The travelers can actually put more stuff into their realms than before, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, but it should cool. be noted that the load reduction only applies to furnishings that are placed within the same area. Oh, okay. Okay, so if I put a chair in a room and then put another one out in the hall, there's no reduction? Nope, I'm afraid not. Damn, the peg. <laughs> well, we've talked a lot about in game celebrations and updates so far. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I remember at the start of the program, you of, mentioned that we'd outside. also have some exciting events that are not all in-game. Mm -hmm. That's right! Is it like an art contest? <laughs> Something that I can do, please? Like what? <laughs> well, <laughs> Come on. we'll be revealing all the details in the next section. <laughs> and our <clears throat> talented voice artists I might skip the game, will though. also be playing some interactive <laughs> games together as well. So if you're interested in watching a bunch of Genshin Impact's voice talents tricking each other and sharing some fun facts, stay tuned. For now, let's take another break for our third redemption okay, code. Let's see. Yay! Here we go. Yay! Welcome back, everybody. Yay! Okay, anything else? <laughs> of today's show we will be introducing more special events oh the anniversary there we go anniversary celebration oh, yeah. Yay. <laughs> yeah the first anniversary event we would like to share is the engraved wishes web event in this the event, event? travelers oh, can submit what? their okay. own messages celebrating genshin impact's anniversary and okay. have the opportunity well, for their messages to be engraved onto unique paimon blocks paimon oh. blocks what what are those that's a really great question. These special blocks are engraved with the traveler's comment, will eventually be assembled into a six foot five Paimon statue. Oh, that looks like oh, the biggest gosh. Paimon. Yeah, a six foot five Paimon. That's a big Paimon. That's so much amazing. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing, though. Like having our messages engraved on a massive Paimon statue. That will be very commemorative. Yeah. 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 No oh doubt about God. that. The Paimon statue will consist of approximately 50,000 blocks. That's a lot of blocks. So, oh my God. there will be 50,000 lucky travelers that can have their messages engraved on the Paimon blocks. Oh, man. I wish oh. I could be one of them. Start promoting. I can imagine. <laughs> More details will be available later via official announcements. Okay. Our next anniversary event is related to Genshin Impact's music. Yeah! Music. I'm always excited about music, you know that. Yeah. <laughs> For many players, music reflects music. the first moments and feelings we experience. I'm okay with music. Belgium and South Korea playing their own covers wow. of Genshin Impact. That's a nice cover. Music. <laughs> That's so wow. cool. Also be releasing soon. Oh, I see. All right, we're we'll skip around. <laughs> okay, it's super loud. Oh, we're getting a preview of this song. Pretty good. Just to save time, I'm gonna skip through all this. Oh my god, it's all, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, let's see here. Soundtrack, I just <sighs> cool. For a collaboration with Horizon Zero Dawn. Wait, what? In the crossover event, oh, cool. Aloy, the Nora Huntress, will answer the call of adventure into that and embark on an all new what journey. The hell? Let's take a first look at Aloy's gameplay into that. Yes, let's yeah. do it. What the F? Nani? 
collaboration. You got any? Oh, she's going to go cryonate. What the hell? Aloy here. I oh, Aloy. But my arrows are sharp and my bow's ready. I remember seeing this and I'm like, what the hell? I'll do what I can. Okay. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Aloy uses a bow as her weapon and wields a cryovision. Cool. Her elemental skill, Frozen Wilds, throws a freeze bomb in the targeted direction and triggers an yeah. explosion, dealing cryo damage. Uh -oh. Oh, After the explosion, awesome. the freeze bomb scatters into multiple chill water bomblets that explode that on too? contact with opponents or after a short delay, dealing further right. cryo damage. When a freeze bomb or chill water bomblet Damn, hits an opponent, crossover, the opponent's attack to be is increased. Oh, wow. That's great. And at the same time, Aloy will receive a coil stack. This effect increases Aloy's normal attack damage. Cool. Normal. When she has accumulated four coil stacks, Aloy will gain the rushing ice effect, which lasts for a certain duration, during which her normal attack damage will be converted oh, to cryo. cryo. Oh. Okay. And in addition, after unlocking the passive talent Strong Strike, Aloy constantly increases her cryo damage during rushing oh, ice. Cool. Oh, over time. <laughs> so, yeah. After unlocking the talent Combat Override, the whole party's attack will increase for a certain duration after Aloy gains the coil effect. Interesting. Ooh, great. Yeah. When unleashing the elements so many bow users. of prophecies of dawn, Aloy throws a power cell filled with cryo in the targeted direction, then detonates it with an arrow, dealing AOE cryo damage. That's so cool. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like this vessel is also a wondrous object that she brought over from her world. Ooh. Yeah. For those of Tame. you who are curious about how to unlock uh, Aloy, uh, here's what you need to know. All travelers who have reached adventure rank 20 or above will be able to obtain this event exclusive oh, five-star character. character directly via in-game mail. Yep, that's right. So just to clarify, travelers who log into Genshin Impact on the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 consoles will receive this character as early as version 2.1, along with the bow Predator, which Aloy brought from another world. And all other travelers who log into Genshin Impact on other platforms will receive this character in version 2.2. What? Yeah. <laughs> another new companion to join us. 2.2. Okay, hey, damn. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta wait till the next <laughs> one. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, I think that's all we got for this special program. All right. So... Oh. What? Zach. Zach. Yeah. You forgot something, buddy. <laughs> oh, uh, that's right. Uh, we still have those interactive mini games to play. Uh, yeah. I yeah. was just <laughs> testing you guys. I mean, that was. Oh, we don't need to see those, right? That, that's just for this. <laughs> right? you testing it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get to the games. Mr. Voice. Yeah. 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 These are the out of game stuff, Our huh? First mini huh. <laughs> Let's get down. Ready? This is behind the scenes, right? I remember it took me like 30 minutes to clear it, and the cutscene after that oh, damn, just has, shocked uh, me. I instantly creators. knew that I would fall in love with the game. Okay. We made plans to play together and do bosses and domains. Alright, so I guess that's it. Well, you Hopefully you guys play. enjoyed this reaction. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. I do stream on Twitch. So check that out. My links are down below. And with that, later days.